we're gonna try soaking some of this frozen shrimp with Vietnamese nok mam fish sauce. Oh. <laughs> it's pungent, right? It's pungent. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Just to fit it in. Smells like grandma. Smells like grandma. <laughs> Uh, I'm testing, testing, testing this microphone. So I, I got a really, really interesting suggestion. Many people have told me that using Vietnamese fish sauce, nook mam, is very good to marinate your, your baits with, and it's really good to help attract a lot of fish. So we're gonna try soaking some of this frozen shrimp with Vietnamese nook mam fish sauce. Have you smelled have you smelled fish sauce before, Aaron? Oh, I've smelled it. It's fishy. It's really fishy. I mean, right? I love it, but it's I love eating strong. it. But it smells very, very fishy. And I'm gonna open this one. This is the classic one right here. I would we I, I typically use this to like uh, cook with, right? It's it's very salty as well. So this not only preserves the, the shrimp, but it also adds a lot of anchovy scent. Nook mom is literally just like concentrated anchovy, I think. Anchovy extract, salt, water, fructose, and vegetable protein. I'm actually really excited. The more I think about it, the more I think this will work because anchovies smell really fishy, right? That mixed in with the shrimp is like two kinds of bait. Something is gonna be attractive to the scent. Why are you looking at me like that? Are you trying to cough? No, oh. I was just- You were just like this. Like you're about to smell this, right, or something. You're gonna smell it first, right? Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna need a volunteer to smell this. Be... That smells like great bait. I, I think this is gonna attract something. Smells like great bait. Mmm. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna give her a whip. Oh. Oh, it's pungent, right? It's pungent. <laughs> it's like a very... Look, it tastes really good. It tastes really good, but it, it smells very I mean, stuff. I like it in like whatever, like the bun, like that, that noodle dish or mm -hmm. whatever. I mean, I've had it, but whew, that's a strong one. All right, pour it okay. in, pour it in. Okay. Oh yeah, marinate that. Yes, love that fish sauce. <laughs> no, let's let's give it a second. Give it some. Uh, let's let's do a quick fish sauce ASMR. Ready? <laughs> awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna close this up. And Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! How does it smell? Woo! I can't see why it wouldn't work. So let's lid this and we'll go fishing tomorrow with it. Tomorrow we're testing it. We're testing it against, um, we have other fresh shrimp, and then we have salted shrimp, then we have colored shrimp, and we're gonna see which one's gonna get the most bites. But I really have a good feeling about this one. The, the Vietnamese nook mom is gonna be the secret weapon. See you guys tomorrow. She has she has waiters right now. Let's see. Uh -huh. yeah, catch all. Catch all birthday. <laughs> it's one of these two, catch all. See these will look like the sand fleas right here. And it's easy because I can just pull it out and tie it on. I'm gonna tie it with uh maybe one of these. Four ounce sinkers, I think. Yeah, four ounces. 
Sputnik sinkers here. And uh, we're just gonna attach it to the main line. I just got this spooled up too. This is a 20 pound line on here. Gertrude here. Oh, yeah, I met Gertrude. <laughs> Standard shrimp. We've got the fish sauce shrimp right here, which today it looks and smells just fantastic. And then we've got the salted shrimp right here, the neon shrimpy bits. That's the pink, this orange, and we're going to be trying a little bit of all of these today and see what we get the most bites on. There should be some fish in the surface looking really nice. I'm gonna try on, this rod is gonna be high-low rig here. This is our catch-all rig. Put it on just like this. Ooh, that is pungent. Ooh, that's good, that's good. I think this is gonna work well. I'll keep both. No, no, I'll do, I'll do one of each like this. I'll do uh, fresh shrimp on the bottom. And now we're going after Pompano and their mouths are not, they're not enormous. So I don't like to put a huge piece of bait. I like to put a small one just to fit it in. Oh. <laughs> How does it smell? It's strong. <laughs> Woo! That'll wake you up. Smells like grandma. It smells like grandma? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> This one, we're gonna use the neon colored one. And it's great to just have on the hook because nothing, it, it, things peck at it. It's really hard for it to get it off. So I'm gonna put some of that and some of the fresh at the same time. I think that's a good presentation like that. Gorgeous. And the same thing for the bottom. So either way, even if this bait gets bitten off, which it probably will, there will still be a piece of this pink shrimp on here. Okay, so my first rod, I've got Stella number one, which is a 5,000 size. And I'm using this on a 10 foot rod. So this is gonna go into the first uh, the first trough. The second one is my bigger Stella, my 14,000 size Stella, and this is on a 13 foot rod. This is going to try and go into the second trough. So we like to search different spots. Hopefully we'll find some in one spot and then we can just keep casting everything to that one spot. So right now we're going to search. Okay, so now we casted both of our rods out. I have one more I might set up later. Now it's just about sitting and watching your rods and making sure that nothing bites it. Don't look away, because when you least expect it, those rods will go off. And usually when, I, when I'm recording this part of the show, when I'm trying to tell you guys, they start to go off. So I gotta get back to watching my rods. Tiny whiting, probably. 
not what we were looking for. But see, the bait's still on there at least. Okay, this one's my conventional reel. Still working on perfecting the cast and really using this to its full capability. Uh, but this is only my second season really using it. I got the same thing tied on, except this one I've got um, pink shrimpy bits on and um, some of the uh, fresh bait on this one. Hope I don't get a bird's nest first cast. Just waiting for the fish to show up. Everything's already baited up. Everything's out there. I'm checking them every once in a while. Uh, I got one catfish so far, which could be really bad luck, or it could be, I mean, I can't see it as anything but bad luck. Well, it's not, that's a single catfish, so I, I, I still hold hope. If I catch two more catfish, I'm moving down. But I haven't seen much activity yet. The surf looks perfect. We're casting in great areas, but sometimes you just gotta wait for the fish to move through and uh, just wait around, you know? It's a great morning. Sunrise is awesome. All I need is a couple of good fish, and I'm gonna cook that up for dinner tonight. The, the nook mom shrimp uh -oh. hook it only left that left but look I, I put some clam on this one still on here I put some clam at the top but it ate the clam and it ate this one but this is too small let's let it go Catfish. That's a bigger one at least. Oh, I might want. 
every time a dog comes up and plays with us, we get a fish. <laughs> so they're our good luck charm today. amount of fish for now. You know, we actually caught quite a few. Yeah. Well, Do you know why they started hitting? Because you put the fish sauce in the water. Oh yeah. I dumped the fish sauce in the water and now they started hitting. Yeah, we're about to eat it up now. Not bad. Right? Not bad. Nice. We did okay. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that was last second as we we're packing up. It got bitten. That was really far out there too. All right, so we got a bunch of whiting now. That was about three and a half hours of fishing. They didn't like the fish sauce one so as, as much. We were catching it more on fresh uh, fresh shrimp and cut clam, our, our salty clams. But again, it's it's day by day. It's not. Sometimes they want a certain thing, sometimes they don't want a certain thing. It just happened that today they wanted uh, the clams and they wanted fresh shrimp. Uh, but the rigs worked really well. Caught a lot of fish on these uh, the rigs and they're really easy to just tie on and get ready and just go fishing right away. So we're gonna we're gonna take these back and we're gonna cook them up.
Welcome back to our kitchen. Here we're gonna be preparing the fresh whiting that we caught. And I took the two biggest ones in here. Well, I'm gonna show you how to prepare the fish and I'm gonna show you how to prepare this very special um, Vietnamese dish. We're cooking a very delicious, caramelized, braised, sweet, yummy, tangy dish in, in Vietnamese. It's called Ka Ko To. And forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but this is a dish that my dad actually made for me uh, a lot of times using a snakehead fish when, when I used to catch it in Maryland. But this is a very delicious dish that we're going to be using our fresh whiting for. And uh, I'm excited to share with you guys a different way of eating fish besides just filleting it and pan frying it. Okay, so this is a really simple dish. First, we're going to need all of our aromatics, ginger, garlic, scallions, and shallots. And we're preparing the dish using the same fish sauce that we were marinating the, the shrimps with. Woo! Woo! This stuff is potent, but the taste is very good. step of this dish. This is a very sweet kind of caramelized style braised fish. So we're actually going to be using a different kind of sugar here. This is like a Asian style brown sugar. I think it's called palm sugar, um, but it's a little bit richer of a taste. And what we're going to do is use this sugar, mix it with water and melt it in here and kind of caramelize it. Coconut water. see it really starting to caramelize now. So do this for a little bit longer, then we're gonna put in our scallions, we're gonna put in our ginger, our garlic. fish sauce on here to kind of marinate with the fish. And the fish sauce is pretty salty. So it, it also toughens up the fish a little bit. It gives it this great flavor. It gives it a really nice seafood flavor. Yeah, no dish is complete without Vietnamese look mom. Look at that. Have you had candied bacon before? This is candied whiting. Gorgeous. Look at that fresh green on there. Mmm. That smells so good. It looks insane. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna give you a big piece right here, Aaron. Ooh, look at yes. that. Do you want it on here? Put it on my rice. I want the sauce on my rice. Well, actually, leave it on there because I, I don't want the bones. Okay. So with this, 
you can see the spine in there, right? You can see that middle part. You just eat to the left and to the right of it. And what I do is just put the whole thing in my mouth. Mmm. 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 Really good. And the way to eat it, you might get bones in your mouth. But you don't just swallow right away, right? You bring the fish in your mouth. You move your tongue around. You kind of mash it around. You feel the little bones and you kind of pick them out as you're eating it. You can't eat it as fast, but it's so delicious when you are able to eat it with the bones. I like to pick the fish off the bone. Kira? Okay, show us how you oh, Look at that skin. Oh, I'm so excited. Mm. <laughs> yummy. So yummy that I think Kira wants some. That is so good. Right? It's so <laughs> sweet and savory at the same time. Mm -hmm. swallow a little bone, the way to solve it is to eat a big chunk of rice and swallow down the rice. And it always just pushes that bone down. Fix it, right? Done. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you say goodbye to our friends? Thank you guys for watching. We really want to inspire you guys to get out there, do an adventure just like this. Catch yourself some fish, make yourself a special dinner. There's really nothing more special than being able to catch your own fish and make it in a really gourmet way. Mm -hmm. For me, it's even more special because I can share a different perspective and a different kind of way to cook it yeah. with you guys. We have a very diverse audience here. Some people are from, we've got people from around the world watching this show. Yeah. So I want you guys to comment below. What is another way you want to see us cook? I'll do my research and I'll figure out how to cook it in, in a different style. But comment below, give us some different ideas on how to cook uh, from, from wherever you are from. Here at Hey Skipper, we want to inspire you to get out, do the same kind of adventure. And we've got lots of awesome products that we put on our website, um, heyskipperfishing.com, including our brand new Sure Catch rig, which is, it comes with three rigs in one pack. And these are just, just fantastic rigs that you can go out and catch a lot of different kinds of fish with. All of our salted baits, those are really great the baits too. The fish. Or at any time you guys buy our products, just know that it's really, really supporting our channel and helping us make more of these videos so that we can keep entertaining and keep teaching and keep spreading the love of fishing with the yeah. rest of the world. Thank so you. I wanna thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Peace. I'll Hope see you guys next week. Hope you enjoyed. See y'all next week. Time. Oh, and special thank you to Cassidy for helping us catch the fish. Gertrude. You know, Gertrude, you're, you're the real MVP here. Truly. <laughs>